When debating with atheists, you'll find they often respond in programmed ways, and as is usually the case with programs, they can be hacked. Hence this little feature I call Hacking Atheism, wherein we explore ways we can use atheist programmed responses against themselves. Now this is not high-end apologetics, in fact it's kinda cheap, but I am a big believer in choosing your battles, and that if someone gives you a half-assed argument, you're not obligated to put any more effort into your response. So with that out of the way, Hacking Atheism. Whenever a theist provides a first cause argument, the scripted atheist objection is, but which God? According to them, it's not enough that a first cause argument proves the existence of a timeless, immaterial, necessarily existing first cause if it doesn't walk you to the doorstep of a particular religious denomination. Unless a first cause argument can furnish you with everything else you need to know about this first cause, it's invalid. Atheists also love claiming, without justification, there is no evidence for God. So you can respond to this very simply by saying, but which God? Which God is there no evidence for, and how do you know there's no evidence for this God? If the but which God objection invalidates a first cause argument, it should equally invalidate the claim that there is no evidence for God. Now, atheists often bring up atrocities committed by Christians throughout history, so you can bring up atrocities committed by atheists throughout history. More importantly, atrocities committed by atheists with the objective of eliminating religious belief, and you can use the USSR and North Korea as examples. Now, the scripted atheist response is that the USSR and North Korea were never really atheists, and that in Stalinist USSR, Stalin was God, and the North Koreans have a national religion called Jewish. Of course, all atheists are experts in North Korean culture, naturally. The North Koreans have a national religion called Jush, wherein Kim Il-sung is their god. So you can respond to this very simply by saying, are these the gods you claim there's no evidence for? Because there's pretty good historical evidence that Joseph Stalin and Kim Il-sung existed. Now, if the atheist says, no, of course that's not what I mean, then they implicitly recognize that there's a difference between a transcendent god and a thing in the world that may be worshipped as god, defeating their entire premise that the USSR and North Korea were never really atheists. Yes, they were atheists, for every purpose relevant to modern day discussions about atheism. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. There is an associated Facebook page for this YouTube channel. Go check that out along with the Patreon. They're both linked in the end screen. Thank you.